Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So today I'm going to go over on how to uh, uh, how to uh, lock your uh, video recording. This is the iTech by uh, SoundLogic that I did a review on a long long time ago. And then I still have this. But uh, you know the this one is uh, it does not have a built-in battery. It only uh, runs on like a small capacitor. So that's why it's, uh, I'm uh, plugging in right now. Because the small capacitor, a lot of people are complaining that it does not hold charge for a long period of time. So let's go ahead and then uh, make sure you guys are familiar with the control uh, buttons. This is the left arrow, menu button, OK button mode and then a uh, right arrow button right here first of all let's uh, go over the night mode a lot of people are questioning me about the uh, night mode again so uh, right now as you can see as a sun that means like a daytime mode if you want to change to uh, night mode all you need to do is just uh, press the power button on the left hand side right here this is the power button just uh, press one time so as you see right now it's in the night mode it has a moon with a star and as you can see there's like a LED uh, on the front that is uh, lit up but uh, you can hardly see it well, you can see it like a kind of like a purplish right now. So if I press the power button one more time, it uh, deactivate. So right now it's on daytime mode. Okay. So all you need to do is just uh, tap it once, and then tap it again to go to uh, daytime mode. Right now we're on the video recording mode. As you can see, there's a, a camera right there, or camcorder. And then it is on 1080p. And by switching a different mode, you can uh, press the menu button right here. This one. And right now it's on uh, picture mode or photo mode, okay? 3M mean uh, 3 megapixel and is on automatic. And if you uh, press one more time, this is the voice uh, recording mode. And then uh, if you press one more time on the menu, right now you're in the gallery mode, okay? So ABI is on the video, files, not name. And if you press arrow, there's another file, .avi. And then if you take a picture, this is a JPEG, JPG, okay? And uh, if you record a voice or a voice uh, memo, it is a WAV file, okay? So imagine you over here playing a video. You're going to press OK to play it. I know the, I know the screen on this is not it's not too good and too bright so but actually on the video if you play on the computer the file is uh is fine for example if you want to lock this uh video clip you don't want it to accidentally erase you're gonna press the menu button right here okay once you press menu there's a play folder right here on this side and if you press the menu again, it's going to go to the setup side. This is left and right side, okay? If you press the menu one more time, it's going to highlight this uh, setup. 
So right here, you could uh, turn off the audio, change your language, uh, system reset, and then uh, change the light uh, frequency. And uh, data input, USB, and then uh, check the version of your uh, firmware. I'm going to press the menu one more time. So if you press menu one more time, you, you exit. So press menu button. And then you're going to scroll down. Right here, you could delete. And then uh, lock or unlock. Thumbnail and then the volume. So here is where you want to lock the video. You press the arrow either left or right to toggle up and down. And then uh, once you get to the lock and unlock, you're going to press uh, OK. So right here, you can lock one at a time. Or you could scroll down to lock all. And if uh, your video is locked already, you could unlock one at a time or unlock all. So I'm going to click on lock one, which is I'm going to lock this uh, video clip. And then press OK. And then uh, it's going to ask you to cancel or execute. And then press the arrow to go down to ex execute and then uh, press OK. So right now you see your video as a lock symbol right there. So it, it won't get erased, OK? So this is another one that I locked. I was just doing a test. So now we're going to do a lock all to see the voice recording and then the picture, see if they are all locked. So. Uh, Press the menu and scroll down to lock and unlock and then uh, press OK. And this time I'm going to lock it all and then press OK. And then go down to execute by hitting the arrow button and then uh, press OK. So I guess it's only applied to uh, videos, okay? It does not apply to pictures or voice uh, recording or voice uh, memo. So I'm going to go to click on menu, lock and unlock, press OK. I'm going to unlock all this time, press OK. And then uh, use arrow to go down and execute. Oops, I accidentally disconnected. Jeez. So every time we turn on, it's automatically recording right away once this uh, unit has a power. Okay. Uh, you're going to press uh, OK to stop recording. And press me, uh, Mo again to go to uh, the gallery. This is photo, voice recording, and then right here. This is the gallery mode because you can see the file name. You're going to press uh, menu again. Make sure I don't disconnect it. Go scroll down to lock and unlock, and then uh, press OK. And then I'm going to scroll down by pressing the arrow. And then uh, unlock all. And then uh, press OK. Let's press arrow again. And then uh, click OK to execute. So all your videos should be uh, unlocked now. Yeah, it's gone, the lock.
All right, I'm gonna press menu. Do one more test for you guys to lock all. Press OK. Lock all. Press OK. Execute. And then press OK. So now you see your video, they are all locked. Accept the picture and then the voice uh, recording. All right. Hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell for notification, or drop me in the comments on below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next uh, video. Like always, peace.